Hello and welcome to BBC Points West with Seb Chowdhury and Amanda Parr. Our main story tonight, found after four days. The 71-year-old grandmother rescued from undergrowth in the Forest of Dean after her family reported her missing. We were very surprised that she was still with us, quite frankly, after four days out. It had been quite bad weather, it had been raining a heck of a lot, and so to find her alive was an absolute bonus. And tonight, she's recovering in hospital. Also in the programme, after two motorcyclists die and three more are seriously hurt in just one week, Gloucestershire Police start safety patrols. Bristol reveals ambitious plans to transform the Cumberland Basin, one of the city's busiest road junctions. And I'll be finding out what West Country farmers are doing to mitigate the impact of agriculture on climate change. Good evening. A 71-year-old grandmother who was missing for four days is tonight recovering in hospital after being rescued from undergrowth in Gloucestershire. It follows a huge search operation around the Forest of Dean with rescuers facing torrential downpours, strong winds and hazardous terrain. Well, Pam Colfield is in Bream where the woman was found. Pam. Well, just behind me there in that corner is where she was found. It's clear now, but it was covered in bracken at the time. And rescuers say the chance of finding her alive was incredibly slim. They'd had no way of tracing her. They had to rely on knowledge, statistical data and a bit of guesswork. And it was a volunteer who saw a faint track coming from the rugby field up there who followed it and found some skin just poking through the foliage. He expected the worst, of course, but when he came closer, he found that she was indeed alive and then the emergency services took over. This is the moment rescuers found the 71-year-old grandmother on Saturday afternoon. Specialist teams had been searching since the night before. They included a cave rescue group, the emergency services and the Seven Area Rescue Association. Bluntly, we weren't hopeful that she would be alive given her age uh, and the, con the weather conditions. And the fact that we didn't really know where she was. So it's always nice for a search. You know, when was she last seen? She was there. We can then work out from that. We didn't have any of that. So we were having to take um, statistical shots at where she might be. The woman has mental health problems and had been missing since Tuesday. The search area was wide and covered some hazardous terrain. There's some disused mine shafts, um, some uh, surface caves that were back from the Roman times of sort of open cast mining. And then we have the wildlife as well, which are wild boar, which generally will, will avoid people. But you do have to be careful not to get between uh, a mother and her piglets. She was eventually found here in some undergrowth next to a rugby pitch. Despite being a short distance from the rugby club, the woman was very lucky to be found. Not many people pass through this area of thick foliage and they only spotted her because her knee was sticking out through the top of the bramble. I understand the, um, the gentleman who found her um, saw a track going into the bracken. But initially presumed that might have been another searching team that had gone in there, but he went in anyway just to make sure and that was when he spotted her. She was cold, soaking wet, but awake. Once she was warmed up and checked over, she was carried by a stretcher to an ambulance. The grandmother is now recovering at Gloucestershire Royal Hospital and her family have thanked all the rescuers and members of the community who helped to find her. Pam Caulfield, BBC Points West, Bream. Oh, very lucky.